Here's a short video of a tiny, inexpensive little product that uh, I'd like to make you aware of. And perhaps you'll be like me and have two or three of them kicking around. It's a LiPo battery voltage tester and low voltage buzzer alarm. The text is pretty small on the back here. And basically it just measures the voltage between a one and an eight cell uh, battery. So it's a, a, it's a one meter all in one, actually. It's really good. And it's got a buzzer alarm system, which I'll show you now. To test any battery, and this is just a single cell one here, you just literally pop it in. And this is a nice thing about it. If you put it in around the wrong way, it doesn't do anything. None of the LEDs illuminate and you haven't damaged anything. That's uh, vital. But when I put it in now, you can see it's reading 3.80, uh, 3.90, uh, sorry. And uh, so we know this battery has been used uh, or it, it's certainly low on power. If I swap over to uh, a fully charged battery, so we've just got a, a three cell here. That's the nice thing about it, it measures you know, uh, one to eight cell. I think this is absolutely superb. I'm gonna pop it in, oops, around the right way. There we go, oh, and it's quite a loud beep and I'll explain why it's a loud beep in a little while. Now, maximum charge you should have per cell is uh, 4.2. So this is just sat maximum. So this is fully charged, uh, ready to fly. So that's great. Now, I have a system uh, that I use and surprise, surprise, it uses elastic bands. Anyone knowing the site will know uh, how keen I am on elastic bands. I do like, do like cheap and uh, things that work. So these elastic bands work well. So I showed that one was fully charged. So all my quad batteries, and I've got quite a few now, um, will not fit into the quad if I put an elastic band on them. So if there's elastic band on them, there's a reason. So they, they shouldn't go into the quad. They're either depleted or in storage. If it's depleted, so as soon as I've finished flying and I come back into land, I take the battery out, swap it over for another one. I pop an elastic band on it this way round. Uh, this is just my system. You can do whatever you like. It's, you know, um, perhaps you've got a better system you'd like to let me know, but this works for me. Wrap an elastic band around it, then that will not go into any quad. Any quad I've got will not take a, a battery back in with an elastic band around it. So uh, I know this one's been used. And then I also know that it's not in storage because if a battery's in storage, I just twist the uh, elastic band and then put it in uh, like a cross shape here, uh, which tells me this is a stored battery. So I can leave this as long as I like, and it's safe, safely stored. If I oops, <laughs> just pop that back in, you can see this is down in storage. It's 11.3, so they're basically around uh, 3.8 uh, thereabouts uh, on each cell. So this is definitely a stored battery. This battery has come out of um, one that I've flown, but, it, but I haven't put it into storage yet. So uh, this is 8.9 and it's just just about four. So actually you've still got quite a bit of uh, life in that one sort of thing. So that, that would be fine to do. The other thing this lovely little uh, gadget does is it's got an onboard beeper, uh, as you <laughs> could clearly hear there, but it's a warning buzzer as well. So if I just pop that one back in again, and there's a little tiny button just on the top here. There's no power on you, this unit. Uh, it only draws from the actual battery that you attach to it. If I press the button, it will scroll through a menu of when you want the buzzer to sound. So it goes all the way around. Oops. So off, 2.7 is where it starts. 2.8, 2.9, 3, 3.1 or 3.2 I tend to have mine at. You shouldn't ever deplete a, a, a cell down to less than 2.9. 2.9 is you're probably not going to actually recover the battery. Three is really the bottom line, to be honest. So if I put it at 3.1 or 3.2, uh, depends on how risky you are with, uh, with your flight, I get the beep off this, and then I know I can get the quad either to land, even if it's quite away from me, or I can bring it back to me as well. So. Um, that's just the way I do it anyway, so um, perhaps you've got a different means of doing it, but that works really well on ones that don't have a beeper alarm. The other thing I like about this is I can add it onto any quad because of the weight. It literally weighs just on oh, uh, nine and a half grams, so uh, less than 10 grams, and uh, it, it does all those functions as well. So I'm really pleased with it, it works for me. Um, just wanted to share it with you. 
Okay, so let's show you what this looks like actually on a quad. So basically make sure you can get your uh, XD60 or your mains power in and then we're going to use the balance uh, wire so also make sure that reaches to anywhere where you can hold this on. You could have it swinging below but I wouldn't be overly happily, happy about that, sorry. Um, so I, I think, you know, <laughs> good old elastic band again, if anything whacks it, it will come off so um, I don't really want it stuck to the to the quad particularly, uh, but you could do, it's entirely up to you, uh, this works for me, um, again do your own thing sort of thing. So uh, this battery is not charged, I've just literally uh, put it on just to, have a, have a, uh, to show you this basically. And then if I press the button on the back it comes to 3.2, now it remembers the last setting it was on, so I was on 3.2, but like I said before if you can just scroll through the menu. Um, I don't know why you would have it on your quad and then have it turned off, but you can turn it off. Um, certainly don't use any of these lower figures uh, of 3.1, 3.2, if not 3.3 I would suggest. So. Uh, and just if you're not sure and you come back to your quad, uh, just quickly just press it and it'll come up as 3.2. Obviously connect up your transmitter and off you go. And then I'll show you how much noise it makes when it gets really low on battery. That's brilliant. Nice and loud.